for the next series of videos, I thought, since we finished the Primaris from the Dark Imperium box set, why don't we get into the other half of the Dark Imperium box set and go for the Death Guard. I don't know. I think it'll be fun. We're going to get through. We're going to paint a lot of these. And step one, uh, after we have done our, uh, our priming in black, it comes to doing the base color. And one thing I found out about the Death Guard is that there seems to be two different base colors uh, that I've seen recommended. Now, if you look at the book itself, you will see that uh, the base color they recommend is called Death Guard Green, which was uh, a new color that came out for this set. Um, and I've also seen... Uh, if you read the the newest uh, edition of White Dwarf magazine, or uh, if you watch some other videos online, um, you see one of the go-to colors for basing this army is Death World Forest. Now, when the day that this box set came out, um, I was at a gaming store and I meant to buy the new Death World uh, Death Guard green color, and I accidentally grabbed Death World Forest. And when I got home, I was like, oh, man, what am I going to do? Blah, blah, blah. I don't know if I want to base it with that. I don't know. Um, and then uh, a friend of mine was at a store and picked me up a copy of the Death Guard Green. And I started looking online. I started reading. And I started watching videos. And I couldn't, for the life of me, find a decent side-by-side uh, -side comparison of these two colors. I've seen the finished product with this. I've seen the finished product with this. But it's always really hard to tell. So uh, I thought I would start off by telling you what these two look like in just a base coat. So, again, we started uh, the Plague Marines of the Death Guard just in black. Just black prime. And I did a couple of coats of these base colors on top. And I left it at that. And I figured we'd take a look. So, very first, switch these around, we'll go with Death World Forest. This is the color that, it should be real easy to find, it's, um, you know, an older color. This is what you get with Death World Forest. It's, oops, dropped it again. It's going to be a little bit darker. That's your Death World Forest. This was about two layers. One thing about Death World Forest is it's not as strong as some. Uh, it is a green, but you know, with two layers, it's stuck on top of that black really well. Um, pretty happy with that color. Now, on the other side, though, the Death Guard Green. This is, I believe, two layers. It might be three, but I think that's two layers. This is your Death Guard Green. Now, it's a little bit chalkier of a look. It's a little bit brighter of a look. Side by side, we have Death World Forest on the left, Death Guard Green on the right. Now, I understand that this base color is not going to drastically impact anything because we're going to add shades and washes and we're going to add other colors on top and accents, but I wanted a good look at the difference. Now, in my opinion, I'm going to stick with what a lot of other painters I've talked to have said and go with the Death World Forest. I'm aware that the book will tell you Death Guard Green, um, but if you already have Death World Forest, I'm recommending you go with it. What I'm going to end up doing with this guy, um, I'm going to slap a little bit of the Death World Forest on top and run with that color. In fact, I've already started doing that with a few other ones. Um, at the end of the day, I think this color is going to gonna work with us a little bit better. Uh, so maybe you can save yourself a couple of bucks and not get the Death Guard green if you already have the Death World Forest. Or if this Death World Forest is easier to find. Or if they have both, my recommendation at the end of the day is going to be basing with Death World Forest. So why don't we get on it? Why don't we get doing it? Um, let's base one of these. Uh, again, starting off uh, today, we've got... Uh, some music going on in the background. Uh, I'm listening to some Except today. Uh, they've got a great uh, new live album come out, I believe, the end of 2016. 
Uh, it might have been the early 2017, except Restless and Live. Um, one of my favorite bands. Love seeing those guys live. Seen them a couple times. Uh, so that's what we're, we're enjoying today while we're painting. I know you can't hear it, but maybe you can turn it on and do the same. Um, so let's go ahead and let's base one of these. Uh, same as usual. We've got uh, the palette. I've already got down here. See, that's your Death Guard green. That's your Death World Forest on the left. I've got a little bit of that on my wet palette. And um, I don't really need to add any water to this right now because it's already nice and watered down because I've done that already. But why don't we go ahead and get some on this model. Now, like I normally would tell you uh, when I'm basing, I am not being the neatest because, again, even what you see on here that's black, I'm going to put new black over the primer anyway. Now, one thing I will tell you, the one advantage to going with the uh, the Death Guard green, um, this is not necessarily an option that I would choose, but um, Citadel has released uh, a spray version of the Death Guard green. And what's nice about that is um, if you want to start with a base coat of Death Guard Green, and you want to save yourself some time, you could use Death Guard Green across the entire army with spray paint. Now, drawbacks, of course. Well, dealing with um, brush-on, you know, the, the paint pot, it's always going to be easier to work with from a perspective of I can control how much paint goes on here. I can control exactly where it goes better than I can um, with the can. However, the nice thing about the can is you can do it a lot faster. Now, what does Games Workshop recommend? You ready to take a guess? They recommend you do both. They recommend that you spend your $18 or whatever they're going to charge you for the uh, Death Guard Green um, in the can. And then they're going to recommend that you buy uh, a pot of this stuff just so that you've got it um, to do some touch-ups. Let's be realistic here. Uh, the last thing I'm doing is buying a, uh, a spray and a, can, or, uh, and a pot of the exact same color. Look, guys, I understand this is not the cheapest hobby in the entire world. Um, no hobbies are really cheap. You know, uh, People that give me a hard time about spending money on Warhammer, my question to them is how much did they spend when they went golfing? How much did they spend going to the batting cages? How much did they spend on a video game? Whatever their hobby is. However, you know we can be smart about this and we can save the money we have. Guys, I've told you uh, numerous times that these pots of paint, if you don't overuse them or and you thin them down and use them properly, you can do a lot. I painted my entire Space Wolf Army with just one pot of the Fang and one pot of Rust Gray, which are colors that are on every single unit. Um, so there is absolutely no reason you can't do an entire army of these guys with one of those pots. Uh, if you want to spray it, spray it. Um, the disadvantage to spraying is, though, I have a feeling you're going to end up buying a pot anyway. Um, not to mention, I've said this before. Repetition is not a bad thing in painting. Repetition is how you learn. Repetition will give you the opportunity to base loads of these models. There, I've got one based. As you can tell, a little bit of the black is showing through. I'm going to end up putting two layers on this. When I'm done with the second layer, it's going to end up looking just like this guy here, which I'm pretty happy with. I think we're going to be able to do some great things uh, with that as a base color. Anyway... That is basing your Death Guard. That is how to get the base color. That's the difference between Death Guard Green and Death World Forest. We'll be back when we do some more painting. We add the other layers. In the meantime, keep on painting.